I went on 20 first dates this summer. I wish I was joking, yeah, but I'm not. And here's what I learned about dating and relationships in general. Also, there's a reason. There's also a really good reason why I look like a wet rat. It's because my boyfriend is coming over and we're celebrating Valentine's Day and I'm personally not a Valentine's Day person. I just wanna stay home, so. 30 second backstory. Um, as of last summer, so summer 2022, I was single for two and a half years, mostly because my last serious relationship basically put me into a body bag. I thought the next man I would open up to would have to be the person performing my autopsy. Like it was that bad. Um, and after I found out that ex-boyfriend moved basically across the street from me, it really changed my perspective on dating and relationships. And I was like, there is no way I'm gonna let one not so great relationship ruin dating for me in general. So. Boom, got right back out there. So I went on, give or take, like maybe 10 dates throughout the winter time of 2022, but I used to live in a small town outside of downtown Toronto. And frankly, the dating pool was now reduced to like my cousins and guys I went to high school with. And it was just, it was not happening for me personally. So the second I moved to the city in May, you know, floodgates started opening. Um, also, this is an eyebrow conditioner, if anyone cares. My biggest learning by far has been, I don't care if men like me especially fresh out of that really not so great relationship. Not that that guy was a bad guy, just we weren't good for each other. I would go on dates almost exclusively caring about whether or not the guy I was on a date with liked me. Ah, that's incorrect. That's wrong. And by like date, probably seven or eight in the summer, I started to realize that I was dating to be validated. I wasn't dating to validate. So that was a big thing that I did change. And ultimately I think is why I met my boyfriend now who is, a literal godsend. Like the man I am dating right now, Jesus Christ, this guy's perfect. I mean, granted, it's only been five months, so I'll keep you posted, but so far, so good. I also, ooh, I'm gonna spill this. I also came to terms with the fact that if the worst thing that happens to me is that I end up alone, I'm gonna be fine. And especially on those dates, I started meeting guys where I was like, oh my God, I'd rather be single than end up with a guy like you. And it just made me really comfortable with the fact that if the worst thing that happens is I end up alone, that's okay. I would rather be alone than date the wrong person. And that was so freeing because then I wasn't chained to this idea that I had to find the perfect person in order to be happy. I realized my life would be complete either way. And this person is just going to enhance my life. They're not going to complete it. Also, that took the pressure off quite a bit. How amazing is this SPF oil from Super Goop? They sent it to me in PR because I know I'm a nobody on YouTube, but I'm actually verified on Instagram. Fun fact. The Crustosaurus Rex that is on this brush right now. I have enough eyebrow hair on this brush to make a third eyebrow. Oh my Christ be with me. Okay, well, ultimately I look like a greasy rat right now. So love that for me. Anyways, um, I am not saying any of this to hate on men. I love men. One thing about me, I love men. But I have had a nightmare dating in the city of Toronto and being picky and allowing myself to be picky, game changer. Seeing my worth, game changer, because it made dating fun and not stressful. And it, it was just a good time. It was just a good time. It made it more fun. I'm so oily right now. Now, one thing I used to do all the time, girl, all the time is I would date a guy. I would get mucho attached, very attached to this gentleman. And then when he lost interest in me or things didn't work out or I decided he wasn't the one, I'd be crushed over a man I knew for like a month. And I would get so upset and then I'd have to muster up the strength to go out and date again, like devastating. So I adopted this phrase that really helped me detach from dating and I made it a lot less like emotional for me is he's nobody until he's somebody. So that guy I just went on three dates with, that's not my future boyfriend, that's not my future husband, he's nobody until he is somebody. And it doesn't mean that you don't make effort. It doesn't mean that you don't care about guys. I actually really enjoy dating and getting to know these different guys. And I really appreciate even the relationships that were short lived or didn't work out. I think they're all really good people. However, what it taught me was that you can't let yourself get attached super quickly because then every single time something doesn't work out, it's a heartbreak and you're not able to see that it's actually a valuable lesson. Every single person you meet that's not your soulmate is bringing you closer to your soulmate. Like that's one less person that's standing in the way of you and your future partner. So you know when you're seeing someone and then they suddenly ghost you or stop making effort and it breaks your effing heart? Mm. Been there, done that. Sometimes guys are just gonna fall off or sometimes 
they're not gonna give you the effort you deserve. And when I was younger, I used to tell them what I would need. For example, after two dates, if they weren't texting me, I'd be like, hey, what's wrong? I've noticed you haven't been texting me. And if I'm in a relationship, 100%, I'm gonna do those things because we've decided we're committed to each other and we need to communicate our needs in order to make this relationship work. However, if we've just met, and you're, st you're putting in no effort right now, there's not enough of a foundation for me to train you how to teach me. And this one quote that straight up changed my life and I've posted about this on TikTok is, I no longer see a guy's lack of effort as hurtful. I see it as unattractive. Oh. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, I stopped seeing it as like a, what's wrong with me? Why doesn't he like me? And start seeing it as, Ooh, you know what? The fact that you don't really want to spend time with me is kind of kind of unattractive because you should see my worth. And the fact that you don't is actually a turn off. And even if you texted me tomorrow, I would not be interested because I am only attracted to people who know my worth. The way that that changed the game because inevitably people will ghost, inevitably people will say hurtful things, they'll fall off, they'll not put in effort. And that little quote, mm mm mm. Ugh, these Sephora jelly glosses I think they're called are the best thing ever but you know what dating actually can be a lot of fun and I think being single and going on dates often gets like a bad rap as being exhausting and just pointless and useless I really enjoyed it like I used it as an opportunity to get to know different people get to know different personalities and as an opportunity to get to know myself like hello all to say having high standards and knowing what you do and don't want brings you closer to the right person for you Maybe I do end up with my boyfriend right now forever. I mean, I hope so. But even if I don't, I'm in a very happy relationship right now. And the person he is, is for sure closer to the person I'm going to end up with than some of the other dates I've been on. And I give that credit to the fact that I went out on dates and I learned these things and I had fun. I had fun. Also, make sure you're sharing your location. Don't go home with guys that you don't know and you're not obligated to kiss them on any date. Also, one of my coworkers told me that this perfume is the perfume that Princess Diana wore. And I've always loved it, but this, that made me love it more. This is hardly a finished look. I literally have eyebrow gel, concealer, lip gloss, and some blush on. But you know what? A slay is a slay. A win is a win. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like this style of content, let me know. I was just feeling chatty. And nobody wants to listen to me outside of the internet, so thanks for hanging.